Okay, this is a uh, mock-up for a 90-gallon uh, saltwater reef tank that we're putting together. And uh, we were trying to figure out how to, what pump to use. And I happen to have a, a, a Thompson Finishing um, mag drive pump that's quarter horsepower, 1750 RPM. And it puts out like 12 gallons a minute. And we were thinking about using that one since we already had it to uh, go with a 90-gallon saltwater tank. So what we did just to see how much it's going to be how it's going to put out and if it's going to be what we want. We set it up, mocked it up here real quick with some old uh, plastic containers. Because we wanted to use a two inch um, drain line that goes back to the sump. So we wanted to see how how the um, 12 gallons a minute would run through that. And we actually have it teed off on the discharge of the, of the uh, mag drive pump so we can uh, play with it and have it go back to the sump basically. So what we're looking at is basically the bottom part that you're seeing right now is the uh, sump and the top part is go is uh, a mock-up of the uh, tank. So we're gonna I'm gonna plug it in right now and we'll watch how it runs but and it's a uh, kind of interesting how it works. And there you can see that the the return is, is putting it back up so it's filling the aquarium the top part of the actual tank. Now it's going down the two inch drain. We were wondering, everyone was saying, oh, just use an inch and a half drain, but as we're seeing, the two inch drain is, is gonna work out really fine. And uh, right there you have a 12 gallon. And um, what we're gonna do though, is we can use some of the uh, discharge to run some other things or to have it bypass. Right now I'm going to open the bypass and you can see how with the bypass open, which is three quarter inch bypass, going back to the sump, which is the bottom tank, you can see how much still is going to the, um, from the return back to the drain. Mm -hmm. So now we split it off at the T and now we have less gallons a minute going up to the top tank and you can see how much is... Uh, this, um the T represents um, if you want to include um, reactors, like carbon reactors, or if you want to include other um, bypass and things like that. Yes. So um, if there's any other, I'm probably going to have a carbon reactor as well as a GFO reactor um, on the final aquarium. So that's kind of what that represents. The other and, thing you're um, looking at too is how noisy it's going to be in the tank and a how much electricity it's going to draw. But yeah. What we did is the this on the curve on the pump, on the Thompson finishing pump, on the curve, it um, needs only a quarter horsepower to run where we want to run it. So that's the, what we use. We used a, uh, a 110 volt quarter horsepower motor. If we would have went to a one third or higher, we were, the electricity uh, might be a little bit too much to of draw so, you know, for the expense of it. Plus yeah. when you have the lights and all the other accessories. A lot of the noise right now is the um, actual water coming down from the top and um, splashing in the sump. But if we have the hose or the pipe deeper in the water, it will reduce the noise. So we should actually run it with the... Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Let's put some more water in and we'll, we'll run it We'll put some down. more water and we'll run it after. Okay. Now we're going to add water to the sump so you can see the difference in the sound. Actually, I'm going to do it up here for the overflow. Okay. So now we're getting... We're even in, introducing more water. Representing the, um, the standpipe going to the bottom of the sump. So there won't be any air splashing. <clears throat> or reduced air splashing. Almost there. Almost there. Then you see how quiet it is. All right. I'm trying to hold it in the same spot the entire time, so you get like a. Actually, I can go up a little higher on the bottom because it's still. Yeah, you can. A little more. And then plus, when we have it, uh, the actual sump has baffles in it, so the water level is not going to be at the very top. Right. And plus, the hose. I mean, plus the standpipe will be longer. But that's pretty quiet. The major noise is from the sucking <clears throat> as well as the pump, but the pump is a little bit the pump is relatively quiet compared to and when the sucking. In, and when it's in we'll, we'll if we have to if we have to adjust the standpipe, um, we will. Let me let me turn the bypass on and see how it goes. Now we're gonna have full 12, 12 gallons a minute going to the uh, main tank. And now because there's less splash in the bottom, it's actually really quiet. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm just gonna get a walker. But I think two inch pipe is about the best for the to go to the sump because I think one inch and a half might fill up too much. Mm -hmm. You always want that insurance of extra. Yeah. Because usually you go. I'm trying to think. 
I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't know the conversion. Let's see. Let me, let me block it off with my hand, and then we'll let it fill up to the top, and then we'll see how fast it, it uh, drops back down. Okay, now we blocked off the return to the sump, or the, and now we're going to let it go. So it does it really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it caught up pretty well. Caught up pretty well. It's good. All right. It's good.